lot of gang shit going on, bro. Y'all ain't on it, bro. On fault now. On fault now. Low pump 2 is trash. Tell me why I still be seeing people making excuses for low pump being dog shit. Like, they're like, oh, it's just low pump. It's just pump. It's just the music he makes. He's supposed to be funny. I don't excuse it. I don't excuse it at all. Boys, it's not 2017, 2016, 2018, 20... I don't even know if this shit was around in 2015. It's not those years anymore. Low pump's time is over. It's, 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 it's... It's done for him. Like, he... His type of music is not cool anymore. I don't know how to explain it to you guys any better. Low Pump needs to make new music that isn't fucking annoying as shit or just haha rap music funny haha make money. It's not cool anymore. I don't I don't know why that's hard for him to understand. That shtick don't work anymore. Six nine, you don't see him making music anymore because his last album fucking flopped. Then you realize. Can't make that type of music anymore. Gotta figure something else out. Or just not make music anymore. Which I don't think he is. Because after uh, yesterday's incident. I don't think he's coming back. I honestly think 6 ix 9 done. And I think it's about time. Smoke, Perp, Lil Pump. Those type of people who didn't evolve with the rest of the SoundCloud era sound. Needs to just move on. People like Trippy Red clearly made it out just fine. Juice World made it out just fine. X made it out just fine. All these people made it out just fine. It would have been top of their game right now. If we didn't lose them. Or someone like Trippy Red. Who wasn't releasing consistent wet dog garbage. Ruby Red's last album was still a million times better than this one. I think any SoundCloud rapper who developed their sound at least the tiniest bit is so much better than what Lil Pump just dropped. That was just a sad excuse to make a buck or a few coming back to rap. That shit was lame as hell. Sorry to break it to you. People who are enjoying this album, yes, it is a little bit of fun if you're not taking it seriously. If you're just sitting there enjoying a good time, clicked on the new Lil Pump album because you know it's going to be dog shit, but it's like, it'd be funny, and it was funny. There was some funny lines in there, but that's about all it was. It was just funny. It was funny because it's bad. It's really bad. Lyrics, bad. Beats, bad. Lil Pump, bad. Smoke Perp, bad. I think the only good part about this album was Ty Dolla Sign's feature, and um, someone needs to explain Lil Pump that if he's going to have Ty Dolla Sign who should have never agreed to be on this album, if he's gonna have him on his album, he needs to do the hook. Who let Lil Pump do the hook on the song with Ty Dolla Sign on it? That shit was lame as hell. That shit was bogus. He robbed him of his great excellence that he could have had. He could have had a half decent song on there if he just gave it to Ty Dolla Sign. Simple as that. It was a good time album, and it is not something I will ever come back to. But the problem is, it gets old very quickly. People need to stop making excuses for Lil Pump, like, oh, it's, it's Lil Pump. That doesn't work anymore. It didn't work for No Name when he didn't try, so I don't know why it applies now. It's trash music, it's garbage music, and that's about all it is. It won't be anything more, it won't be anything less. It could be less. I take I take that back. It could be so much less. Although that rock song did go kind of hard. <laughs>